Hey, welcome back inside the Mind of Matt. In this episode, I'm going to talk about 3D printed lithopanes. What's that? Well, you're going to have to watch the rest of this video. If you know what it is and you want to see my settings and how I went about it, make sure you watch as well. Stay tuned. So, what's a lithopane? Well, according to Wikipedia, a lithopane is an etched or molded artwork in a very thin translucent porcelain that can be seen clearly when backlit with a source light. And that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to use a picture and we're going to use Simplify 3D. That's my method at least. Let's see how it's done. Before we get too far into it, let's talk about the pictures real quick. Now, you could just take an, any picture that you have and you can bring it in and it'll work. But what I have done and learned through the processes is that if you make it a square, it works much better. And if you also make it black and white, it also works much better as well. So as you see here, I have uh, some of my original pictures all the ones that are in color and then I've taken in a program an image editing piece of software I personally use an open source called GIMP and I cropped it down to the specific squared size and then I converted it to a grayscale made a few adjustments on my contrast and my brightness and this is the results so once you get your picture you're going to want to open up your Simplify 3D. Alright, so once you get Simplify 3D open, next is to go up to your add-ons or add-ins and convert image to 3D. Find your picture. Let's pick this one. Now I've also, these settings are kind of important. Your image depth scale is actually how thick overall the darkest point is going to print. I've set mine at three millimeters. Some people go up to five. I've had success with four. My desired width, because I've made these square, whatever my width is, is going to be my height as well. And I've made mine a hundred. So I'm printing a hundred by a hundred. My base, my platform height is actually a blank piece that it's going to print on the back and I've made mine half of a millimeter. This other setting I've just left at one and if you put a check mark in front of the invert depth profile it will be a positive versus unchecking it will make it a negative. So we want a positive. Can you create it? It's going to ask to save an STL and then it's going to ask you if you'd like to import your newly created model. And there you have a lithopane created right in Simplify 3D. Now for me, I like to change my orientation. So we're going to make our Z minus 90 and our Y minus 90. And then we'll center just like that. Let's go over a couple of my settings inside. I'm printing at a 0.18 layer height. I got two top. Let's change that to three, three, and three. Additionally, I'm using a raft. I'm printing at 50% infill. A lot of people print at 100. I have had great success with 50%. It goes quicker, less plastic and the same results maybe even better no support my temperature that's going to depend on what you're printing i've found that 215 degrees works great for the pla that i'm using my fan is off for the first layer it's on at 25 percent for the second and 50 for the rest i'm also printing at 50 millimeters per second and the last settings that i want to make sure that you check and uncheck it, your minimum distance travel for reaction or retraction make sure you uncheck that 
And under movement behavior, you want to check the avoid crossing outlines for travel movements. And that's basically it. You've created a lithopane inside of Simplify 3D with no external software other than maybe an imaging software. So I have set five of these on the build plate all at the same time with an approximate print time of, well, the slicer says 12 hours, but I know it's going to take more than that. So let's check it out and put it together and I'll show you the rest of the project. Paints all printed at the same time. Get this puppy off of here and see what it's gonna look like. All right, so those are on the raft. I'll have to get them off, but let's talk about my light source and the base. I did look on Thingiverse and I did find a couple of bases, but I wasn't sure what I was going to be using for my light source. But then I figured it out, and this is actually what I'm using. I'm using USB style LED. It's actually dimmable just by a touch. It uses a nice little USB extension cable. I've got six foot long and then just a phone charger to plug in. This is my design. I will put this up on Thingiverse if anybody's interested. And also I just printed out a couple little pieces for the top. I did think I was going to make it modular but I figured for gift purposes I'm just going to glue in a couple of key spots and keep it all together and that way it would not necessarily the module. So let me get this thing off the raft and we'll put this thing together and see how it looks.
Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit that like button. And keep coming back for more Inside the Mind of Matt. Happy printing.